One of the most common questions people have at retreats when they come up and ask a question is, I just want somebody so-and-so to like me. Why doesn't everyone like me? I'm such a likable person. I'm not doing anything wrong to them. What's wrong? Why doesn't this person like me? They just don't like me for no reason whatsoever. Hasn't everyone had that experience? You didn't do anything. And yet, somebody hates your guts. Just hates you. It makes your life rough for you, too. Everyone's had that experience. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that there's nothing to do to make that person like you. You can't make anyone do anything you want them to do. You can't make them like you. You can't make them not like you, if they do. You can't make them sing Elvis tunes if they don't want to, and you can't make them cluck like a chicken. What you can do, however, is change how you react to how they're feeling toward you. If someone doesn't like you, how do you react? You usually react back by not liking them back, right? Or feeling hurt and sad and upset, rejected, or how else do you react? Everyone's got their own unique individual way of reacting to whether someone likes them or not. Of course, it's easy to react positively when someone likes you, but when they don't like you, this is where the challenge is. This is where you must be the bigger person. You must be the one who's acting Zen, even in the face of non-Zen. The one who should be loving, even in the face of not loving from others. Well, first of all, just accept the fact that not everyone's going to like you. Not everyone likes me. I don't like everyone. Not everyone likes... Well, maybe everyone likes the Dalai Lama. Maybe everyone likes Gandhi, but maybe there's some who don't. Well, obviously someone shot Gandhi, so not everyone loved Gandhi either. So, no matter what kind of person you are, no matter how sweet, how soft, how kind, how gentle, how enlightened, how zen, no matter what, there's always going to be someone who doesn't like you. So accept it now. And stop resisting the fact that there's going to be a few people on this planet who don't like you. Don't take it personal. Who knows, maybe you killed him in a past life or something, you don't know. Of course, this is the one that counts, and this is the chance for you to act in a loving way toward that person instead of the way that you might have in a past life, when you were a warrior or something. This is all just speculation. Who knows? Maybe there's other reasons why they don't like you. Maybe you remind them of their hated mother or sister, or maybe you remind them of, maybe your name is somebody who picked on them in high school. You have no idea what the story is. But it's okay. It's not about you. So let the person not like you. And then whoosh, water off a duck's back. And then be in a loving space anyway. An open space anyway. This doesn't mean let yourself be walked on. Doesn't mean you have to let yourself be hurt or harmed. Doesn't mean you have to let that person abuse you. If that person is at a place you work, or in a place of your home, or is your roommate, you might want to think about changing your reality and moving out, if that's what's going on. Could be a drastic change. Maybe not. Maybe you can just simply let it be alright that they don't like you. And carry on. Think about it. There's six billion people on the planet. There's bound to be some that like you and some that don't. Think about it. There's six billion people on the planet, maybe even more. We don't really know. There's bound to be plenty that like you and plenty that don't. So focus on the ones that like you and enjoy yourself with them. The ones that don't like you, bless them with your heart and move on. Don't internalize it. This is where you suffer. 
It's when you internalize it and think maybe there's something wrong with you. Now, of course, there's the wisdom of checking to see if there's a seed kernel of truth in why a person doesn't like you. Are you acting badly? Are you being a jerk? If so, then maybe that's behavior you might want to work on and change. If not, then realize it as a coming and going in the face of consciousness. It might be all right. Nobody has to like you. All the people in the world don't have to like you for everything to be okay. That's true. You can live your life without everybody liking you. And it's okay. So don't worry about the ones that don't like you. Be at ease.